I've been working on a system behind the scenes that could potentially create, upscale, title, and tag, and upload all my images completely on autopilot to Adobe Stock each and every day. And it won't take any of my resources. Uh, when I say resources, I mean time, effort, energy. Uh, literally, all it will do is do this in my sleep. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. As you can see, you know, I've been an avid Adobe Stock uploader for a long time now. But like I said, I've been working on something behind the scenes that could potentially make life easier. Uh, I've talked about for many months now how uh, the AI, the power of AI, is just incredible. And of course, it sounds amazing, but it's also quite dangerous. In fact, I made a few videos um, about three months ago telling people, you know, just warnings about how effective it will be. And when something is truly effective, uh, the job market, people's livelihoods are at stake. With that being said, this is a video of encouragement, not necessarily to create fear. So I want to put this out there. One video I created about a week ago, not a week ago, sorry, excuse me, about two months ago, was I promised that I'm going to be focusing my energy on figuring out how I can automate my life. And when I say automate my life, what do I mean? Basically, I sit down, I list out everything that I do manually, and I figure out how AI can do it. And this is one of those things that I'm doing behind the scenes. I want to show you guys this because this is, like I said, something I've been working on. So uh, I don't really have a, a stable you know, idea for this, this thing yet. Uh, but basically what this is, is this is a rapid creation tool. As I said, it creates photos for you, tags, titles them, upscales them, and automatically uploads them to Adobe Stock on your behalf. So let me give you a quick example. Here I have 30 pictures of slices of cake that are AI generated. I'll just kind of show you what I mean. I'll click download. Okay, this is one of those images. You can clearly see I already downloaded it, but uh, this is one of them. You can see the level of quality, which is pretty decent. I don't know if my camera is fully picking it up, but uh, or my screen recorder, excuse me. Uh, but then there are some images that are not entirely perfect, but not too terrible. Uh, like I'll show you this one, for example. It's a picture of a hand, which as you guys know, hands are pretty hard to create from AI because they're just so intricate, I guess, with a piece of cake, I guess, cheesecake maybe, with some berries on top. And so, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool overall. And I'm going to show you how this whole system works. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on Supernova. Supernova is a setting that is this AI auto creation mode. And the way it works is I'll set this up to, for example, 30 prompts, which means 30 images are going to be created. And I'll give it a, um, a, a requirement or a setup, so a prompt. So what I'll say is uh, realistic photos, cinematic backgrounds, uh, and then I'll put like cement, greenery, um, etc., of abstract backgrounds, neon lights in various shapes, square, circle, rectangle, dot, 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 etc. Okay. Um, and I'll just hit generate. And so while this is talking, or excuse me, not while this is talking, while this is creating, I'll speak to you guys. So really what this is, is I've put in a prompt here. Obviously spelled some things wrong, but I put in a prompt and I submitted it and I requested 30 prompts to return from that. Now those 30 prompts are going to be in the form of images. As you can see, they're being formed as we speak, uh, which is nothing too crazy, but they're going to be abstract backgrounds of what I requested. You can see they're being created as we speak. Pretty cool. And these images will be automatically titled and automatically tagged and then automatically submitted. Now, what's not automatic is me putting in this prompt, which eventually will become automatic, and then everything else will then become automatic. So essentially, I'll never have to turn on my computer, and on autopilot, you know, two, three, four, five hundred, even a thousand images a day will be sent to my Adobe Stock account. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned that I was going to talk about the challenges, but there are some challenges to this that I haven't yet spoken about. The challenges are from the Adobe Stock side. 
You know, how many can I submit without necessarily monitoring the account? What can I do? And you can see these images are currently in their non-upscaled form. So I'll just click on one of them here. I think this one's pretty cool. And you can see how it looks. Let me just make it a little bit smaller so we can all see how it looks. Pretty nice. Uh, some of them look crazy. Like, to me, this just looks insane. I'm not even, even sure what's going on here, but it does look pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's nice, right? So, while we're also talking, I'll just set this up to be upscaled, okay, so that all these images will be upscaled. And then, in the meantime, while they're being upscaled, I will select them, or have them selected, rather, and I'll just uh, have them uh, generate some tags for me on all these. So I'll hit regenerate tags on 30. And that way it will create customized tags. Like for example, you could see here abstract sculpture, neon tubes, green, green neon, purple neon, intertwine, things like that. So it will recreate those tags there, which is nice. Um, so yeah, it's kind of working on autopilot, but the challenges are there. The, the challenges are very real. And uh, what they are is first thing is I need to make sure that the application maintains a decent enough acceptance rate to the Adobe stock account so that I'm not in some sort of risk of getting banned or anything like that because it is a very real risk to get banned on Adobe stock if you just constantly keep getting rejected. Now, I've made multiple videos in my members area talking about how to reduce rejections for Adobe stock, right? That's nothing new. And uh, there's certain tactics that I'm working on employing, however, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of energy to be able to train an AI tool to do all this work. And more importantly, guys, to be honest, it takes a lot of money. You know, it takes a lot of money to train AI because every single time an AI image is created, it's created off of your data and its understanding of your data, more importantly, but it also creates a lot of errors. It took me a while to get this far. I'll be 100% honest with you with how things are working. And you know, from the outside, things do seem pretty nice. Like, if I click on this image right here, like this image, in its upscaled format, is a pretty nice image. It's high definition, it's high quality, uh, it's got some logical texture to it, meaning like it makes sense from a logical standpoint. You, it, it's, it looks like a hallway with some neon lights, and it seems like a pathway to the outdoors, which is really nice. So it does seem like logical, right? It doesn't seem like illogical. And let me just delete some of these images right now while we're sitting here. Okay, let me get rid of these so, you know, they get out of the way. But one of the next challenges that I have is this autopilot kind of feature. You know, I don't want things to get out of hand. So I have to kind of control the amount that's being created every day. And more importantly, the system is not perfect. I haven't yet gotten to a solidified point where I'm looking at these kind of images. And we'll download this cool image real quick. I did want to see this one. Um, to the point where it's like, I, I'm fully trustworthy in the process yet. So let's take a look while these, uh, tags are being created. Let's look at some of the tag quality on this images. So here we have a miniature landscape created from small concrete fragments, tiny plants and pebbles, gently illuminated by a tiny glowing green neon river flowing through it. Detailed macro image, uh, imaginative. I don't even know if that makes sense. Uh, but hey, the tags are miniature landscape, concrete fragments, tiny plants, pebbles, green neon river, glowing illumination, macro perspective, intricate details, diorama art, small scale world, uh, texture ground, delicate foliage, whimsical design, ethereal glow, flowing light effect, constructed scene, artificial light source. So... Would that pass an Adobe stock, I guess you could say, um, I don't know what word you want to use, rejection or acceptance kind of thing? Maybe. I mean, this is the photo that came of that exact prompt. Some things do worry me. For example, the the background blurriness, which I understand. It's a way that the image is created from a focal standpoint. But sometimes Adobe stock can get rigid about those kind of things. They can get... Um, not aggressive, but they can be rejecting those kind of images. So yeah, I want to keep things to a low, and it's just a matter of learning how to train the AI properly and do a lot of code work behind the scenes that will force certain outcomes. And guys, I'm not going to lie to you, it is difficult. 
right? It, it seems easy, but it's, it's really not. It is difficult. This image is unique for sure. Um, like I said, I'm going to submit all these images to Adobe Stock. We'll see how they, we'll see how they do. Hopefully they do well, but that's what I'm working on behind the scenes. So I put down a list of various things that I do throughout the day, and I'm trying to figure out how I can get AI to do them for me. For those who don't know, I do get you guys in on the fun. Um, we have, for example, right here, let me pull it up here on my screen, our members area, where I gave you guys a free tool called Design Sensei that uses AI to create t-shirt designs, you know, and it's a cool tool, people have made money, I've made money on it, um, you know, I've put, put out the videos about it, but this is what I'm currently doing, I'm currently figuring out ways to take my tasks, my daily tasks, and automate them, that's all it comes down to. Uh, my next thing that I'm going to be working on is automating blog writing, and blog writing specifically in a way that I would normally write blogs, as opposed to having like some AI write some basic carbon copy blog of any other thing out there and make it like a real trash kind of output that really gets no SEO presence. That's not what I'm working on. So I want to work on something that will yield basically exactly what I would do, just me not doing it, if that makes sense. Um, I value a life of financial freedom. I value a life of... Uh, yeah, financial freedom is the best way I could say it, where at this point in time, I've done the hard work, I've put in the hours, and now it's time to play smart as opposed to playing hard, if that makes sense. You know how some people say work hard or work smart, not hard? Well, in order for you to actually work smart, you have to work hard first, you know, and then you could play work hard or work smart. So I'm trying to get into that work smart mode now. I've put in the hours, I've clocked in the hours, I've clocked in the days, now I'm just making things easier. So I do have a lot of work to still do on this tool. This tool is nowhere near ready. But I need to, you know, fix a lot of the errors that come from it. Because I know there's not too many errors on screen right now. But there are a lot of errors behind the scenes. Uh, they need to be fixed. They need to be cleaned up. And I need to just make sure that the acceptance rate, like I said, for me, is decent enough so that I can, you know, continue to use this tool. And maybe even put it out to other people to use. But at the position that it's in now, it's not in a good position. Definitely need to improve it and definitely need to make it better. Like I said, I'm facing a lot of challenges, but these are the things that I'm doing behind the scenes. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.